Hey YouTube, Mike here. It's been a little while since I made a video. I apologize for that. I don't have any excuses other than that life just gets in the way. But enough about that. In the last video that I made in December around Christmas time, I talked a little bit about the Prusa and a little bit of the Palette 3 Pro that I'm using. Well, I've been using that for about six months now. And well, how do I say this? Uh, there's been a lot of hype about the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. And well, I kinda sorta did a thing. I went out and bought one. Who actually goes out to buy things these days? I mean, why do we still say that? Anyway, yes, I bought a Bamboo X1 Carbon, the current flagship printer of Bamboo Lab. I haven't gotten rid of my Prusa, no. I love my Prusa and I love my Palette 3 Pro. This new printer does not replace what I had. Okay, it totally replaces what I had. I don't know why I said that, but not completely. There are some things that the Bamboo can do that the Palette 3 Prusa combo can't and vice versa. But I'll talk about that in another video. I found online a model of the One Ring from Lord of the Rings and I'm actually going to print that. I know that sounds boring. Why would I make a video of the Bamboo X1 Carbon printing a ring? Because I want it. Anyway, let's hop on over to Bamboo Studio. So here I am in Bamboo Studio. I'm going to pull my model in and loading geometry data only. Now if we say yes to this question, what it does is it includes a bottom ring that the designer added so that it would suspend this ring in, in the air so we could add organic supports. Um, we can try this. Uh, earlier I, I actually tried slicing this and it caused problems. But let's uh, change the filament to gold. But you can also notice that it's pretty big. I mean, that's not really going to fit a human hand. That would probably even be too big for Sauron himself. But let's see what happens if we try to slice this. Oh, well, you know, for one thing, we need to make sure we include supports. Oops. Supports and we want to use tree supports on build plate only and we're going to do it at 0 0.08 millimeter layer height pretty high resolution for 3d print but if i were to just slice it like this let's see what happens oh my gosh that's a lot of layers we're not actually going to print it like this at this size I just want to see what the slicer does. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's what we would want it to do. However, we don't want it that big. We're going to try sizing it down. And this might take a little bit of trial and error, but let's try an X and Y of 30 millimeters. Um, we'll see if. We'll see what size that makes the ring when it comes out. Now, if we slice this again, and see, that's that's the problem I was having earlier when I tried slicing this at this size. So here's what we're going to try doing. We're going to start with a new project. We're going to bring it in again and this time we're going to tell it not to load it as a single object with multiple parts this way what it does is it loads all of these objects the ring this little base here and then the the base ring here it loads it all as separate objects so let's just get rid of these let's change this ones again to gold and let's lay this down
and let's center it. Resize it. This time, let's do a, since we don't have that that extra big ring at the base going around, let's size it to 25 millimeters on the X and Y. And we're going to put this on the cool plate. That way it doesn't give us that textured, we're still going to have a ridge, but it won't be a textured ridge. So this isn't the ideal way to print this, but we're just, we're just playing here. So we no longer need support, so that was disabled when we created the new project. And yeah, let's go ahead and slice it. It's going to take 19 minutes. Let's get this thing printed. So in case you've never seen one, this is the Bamboo X1 Carbon. Currently I have it doing its initial checks and calibrations just before it prints. But one of the things I've done, you'll notice if you have seen uh, Bamboo X1 Carbon before, you'll notice that it is pretty bright there inside the chamber. I actually added an LED strip. I, I, I printed this riser here that raises the top glass up and then I added a an LED strip around uh, certain parts of this uh, this riser here to make it brighter on the inside so that we can actually see what's going on in there because this is what it looks like without that light and this is what it looks like with that light so I think it's a good improvement So here's the ring. I know it wasn't much of a time lapse when you have such a small thing that you're printing, but I'm actually quite impressed with how this turned out. You can still see the writing both on the inside and the outside. And does it still look like a piece of plastic? Well, absolutely, it is a piece of plastic. It's not gonna win any awards for best movie props or anything like that. And we're just playing around with the new printer that we got just a few days ago, but this turned out really well. I'll leave the link to the file. It's a free file, I'll leave that link in the description. But yeah, this was great. So that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you for watching. Be sure and hit that like button and especially be sure and hit that subscribe button. And now that you've seen this, fire up that 3D printer and go make something awesome.